initiative is it's a 12 step process, all right? You don't have to hold that. I'll show you what you do. So you take this. So if I was fighting in a battle, dressed like this, I'm part of a group called the New Orleans Braves. You guys know where New Orleans is? New Orleans is over in Louisiana. It's a long ways from here. But a group of men marched all the way out here. And along the way, they trained as soldiers. And so what they would do is, once they had their muskets, they'd be lined up. You had 123 that joined together. So they'd train together. And you got to imagine another 120 people with me, okay, doing this together. So we do. So we'd stand like this at attention, okay? And then if we were going to, our commander would give us the order, he'd say, prepare to load in 12 times. And he'd say, load. But first, he would have us take our gun up to the shoulder like this, right? And he'd say, prepare to load in 12 times. Load. So I would, and I'll turn this way, because i got to bring the gun down like this. Take the gun. I'd say, open, pan. That's the pan, okay? And say, handle cartridge. Reach around and whoop, grab that one, open that up, and I'd pull out a paper cartridge. It's about that long. It's like a little paper tube, okay, made of brown paper. And then I would bring it to my mouth. Now, why would I do that? I gotta tear it open. And so, if you wanted to be in the army in the 1830s, you had to make sure that you had at least four teeth two on top and two on bottom. If you didn't have that, you couldn't be in the army. You couldn't fight, you couldn't fight. Tear that open, whoop, spit the top out. And then say prime pan. Put a little bit of powder in there. Shut pan. Close that up so the powder doesn't spill out. And then cast about. Take that. Turn it here. Okay. Now I have the gun here. You take that powder and the lead ball that's in it. It's my bullet. Pour that down the barrel. Okay. Make sure that's in there. It's charged cartridge. Then you draw a rammer. This is my rammer. Bring it to here. And the um, surgeon would say. Ram cartridge. So I put that down the barrel. I tamp that down, make sure it's packed tight. So the bullet's in there, gunpowder's in there, everything's ready. I say return rammer. Pull it out, turn it, and then I set it in place, but with my pinky. If I went like this, what would happen? I could get shot. Yeah, my gun is all loaded, so it could go off. And if that gun went off, do you know what would happen? And I had my hand like this. I wouldn't have a hand anymore. But if I do this and the gun goes off, I can still fight without a pinky. I don't need a pinky. I do need a hand, because the next thing I'm gonna do is bring it back to the shoulder, like that, okay? And it, well, I can walk, I can march like this. Or the commander can say, ready! And I bring my foot back and the gun up like this. And I cock it and they say, aim! Bring it up here. Now watch this right here, because this is a flintlock musket. You guys know what happens with flint and steel when they get together? What do they make? They make fire, they make a spark that you can use to make fire. Now this one's gonna make a spark too, and I use that to light the gunpowder that we put in the pan, okay? That's scary. So yeah, watch watch this here. Watch the spark. Okay, ready? Then I aim and then fire. Did you see that spark? Don't worry, I don't have gunpowder in it, so it's not gonna go boom. That comes later. Oops. Anyway, but that is how you load and fire this weapon.